Ah, uh, yes. There's nothing that makes more sense than saying an entire league is rigged after going through the whole season where bounces and split-second decisions can change the outcome of a game at any moment. This is what we call a hot take. And, well, you know, everyone's got them. Some are good, some are bad, but this one is downright the worst. Because the truth about the finals isn't that it's rigged or that the league wants Vegas to win, but really... The unfortunate reality for Panthers fans is that the Vegas Golden Knights are just flat out the better team right now. Despite the sheer bitterness from some Panthers fans, I have some bad news for you. The NHL isn't rigged. And no, I promise I'm not being paid by Gary Bettman yet, but I do get why some fans would say something like this. I get it. The refs can suck. They can make controversial calls or non-calls that can dictate the entire outcome of a game. But really, that's the nature of all sports. Some fans felt the need to voice this opinion after the outcome of Game 4. But the real reason why Vegas won that game is because, once again, the Knights exposed the Panthers' defense. That might not sound exciting or crazy, but that's the truth. Hockey is a game of minimizing your mistakes, and right now, Vegas is either forcing Florida to make mistakes or simply capitalizing on Florida's self-made errors. This was the case on the 1-0 goal for Vegas, where a bad Florida change would lead to a Stevenson goal. What a terrific heads-up play from White Cloud to read this breakdown perfectly and then quickly hit Stevenson on the transition to set up the breakaway. But again, if you look closer, the big mistake is Ekblad deciding to go for a line change while Vegas has possession of the puck in the neutral zone. Vegas is way too good off the transition to do this, and they capitalize on Florida's self-made error. Vegas just does such a good job at constantly overwhelming the opponent and forcing them to make uncharacteristic mistakes in their own end. Florida, all playoff long, has been great at making the right play at the right time. But in this series, Vegas has made it a completely different story. Watch how quickly Vegas' forecheck instantly pressures Gudis before he can make a first pass. Because two knights are on him instantly, he just has to eat this puck along the boards and wait for some support. Florida doesn't give him that support, and Marchessault sends the loose puck to the point, and a great bounce leads to a Carlson goal. Vegas's forecheck forces yet another Florida mistake. Now, Florida did have a third period surge, and as you can see by this goal, I mean, the NHL is clearly rigging the game. Every single one of these Vegas players were precisely put in this spot here by the NHL scriptwriters so that the puck can bounce perfectly off both players' legs and go directly into the net. Now, of course, they did this to throw off the scent because if Vegas won in a blowout, it would be just way too obvious that the NHL wants Vegas to win the Stanley Cup. I do love Aiden Hill's reaction here right after the goal. You can kind of see him laughing or chuckling after it goes in, probably because he knows in the script that Vegas is supposed to win the cup anyways. But actually, I do think that this goal against is very telling about where he's at mentally and why he's been able to go on such a fantastic run in these playoffs. As a goalie, there's only so much you can control. Sometimes pucks get tipped in, you could do everything right, be in the right position, yet the puck still finds a way to beat you. Aiden Hill doesn't let it bother him, he just keeps a smile on his face, understands not to get too high or too low throughout the game, focuses on what he can control, and then when a ridiculous bounce like this happens, just laugh it off and refocus. And he would have to do exactly that because this goal would give Florida life and they would get another one to make it 3-2 and bring us to a really controversial last two minutes of the game, which by the way was an absolute battle in front of the net and Aiden Hill. This is where everyone was up in arms because Kachuk would fall into Hill, the ref whistles down the play for some reason, and honestly, it makes no sense. Kachuk would get cross-checked as soon as the whistle goes and there's no call. Everyone complains about the refs, says the NHL is rigged, they want Vegas to win, which of course is exactly why they would give Vegas a delay of game penalty with 17 seconds left in the game. This would cause absolute mayhem as Florida poured on the pressure with the power play, and as Reinhardt takes this one-timer, he actually breaks White Cloud's stick to make it a six on three, and it's just a full blown panic mode for Vegas. This would set up an unbelievable save by Hill in the dying seconds of the game on Matthew Kachuk. Time would have probably run out anyways before Kachuk would have been able to bury this one, but what a save by Hill either way. Of course, there's extracurriculars after, both teams giving each other the goods, people are throwing rats on the ice, helmets are off, gloves are off, everyone's losing it. Gary Bettman's probably laughing in the press box knowing that his Vegas Gold Knights are going to win the cup. And now the Florida Panthers find themselves in the exact same 3-1 hole that they were in when they faced the Boston Bruins. 
Now, if you think that the NHL is rigged for Vegas to win, just look at these numbers for Florida. They are 0 for 12 on the power play, six goals allowed on the penalty kill, and they have only led for a grand total of 19 minutes in this series. This was all before game four as well. The Panthers power play has been atrocious and their penalty kill hasn't been any better. On top of that, they're constantly chasing the game from behind and that is a losing formula. So what did you think about this game? Do the Florida Panthers stand any chance at coming back? Or is it simply a matter of time before Vegas wins the Stanley Cup? Because, of course, you know, the NHL is rigged. Either way, guys, drop a comment down below on your opinion. And if you want to see more NHL playoff breakdowns, make sure you hit that subscribe button.